class welcome back today we will continue with exercise 6.5 part 7 and we will complete this exercise okay so let's start question 26 show that semi vertical angle of a right circular cone of given surface area and maximum volume is sin inverse 1 by 3 so here is the cone having radius r Uh, plane height L and the height H. I can write it down as under root of L square minus R square. Now it is given that given surface area. I mean surface area is fixed. So surface area. Its formula is pi R L plus pi R square. Let's say pi R square plus pi R L. Okay. So that we will get pi equal to s minus pi r square, and l will be equal to s minus pi r square upon pi. R. Okay. Now you have to show that with maximum volume. Okay. The semi-vertical angle is sine inverse one by three. Means this theta, I have to prove that this is equal to inverse one by three. That means Sine theta equal to one by three. What is sine theta? That is opposite upon hypotenuse. That is <coughs> r by l equal to one by three. So that is the reason I want the value of l in terms of s and r, where s is fixed. Here yeah. we need to maximize the volume. Okay, so we will make the function as volume v will be equal to f of r, and volume of a cone is one by three. Pi r square h. Okay, we will not make volume here because this is unwritten on. Let's take the volume as one by three pi r square h. So this will be one by three pi r square instead of h under root of l square minus r square. Now to avoid excess calculation, I will take v square because if there is square root. Uh, there will be excess calculation differentiation, so I will take v square, one by nine, pi square, sorry, pi square, r raised to four, l square minus r square. This we will take the function f r. V square will be f of r. Okay, replacing the value of l from equation one. We will get one by nine pi square r raised to four s minus pi r square upon pi r whole square minus r square. This will be equal to one by nine pi square r raised to four. Taking its square, s square minus 2s pi r square plus b square, that is pi square r raised to 4 upon pi square r square minus r square. Let's take LCM, that is 1 by 9 pi r raised to 4. LCM will be pi square r square. S square minus 2 s pi r square plus pi square r raised to 4 and is multiplied to minus pi square r raised to 4. This will cancel. Pi square pi square cancel. R square here will be r square. So f of r will be equal to 1 by 9 r square and I can take. S and S common from here. So remaining is S minus two pi r square. Multiplying this r square, I will get f of r equal to one by nine S S r square minus two pi r raised to four. Okay. Now to find out the maximum volume or to maximize the volume, we need to take f dash r and f double dash r. F dash r will be equal to one by nine s 
derivative of this 2s r minus 8 pi r q and f doubled s r that will be 1 by 9 s constant derivative of 2s r 2s minus 24 pi r square here now to find out the critical point f dash r equal to 0 that means 1 by 9 s 2s r minus 8 pi r cube equal to 0 that means 2s r minus 8 pi r cube equal to 0 2s r equal to 8 pi r cube 2 1s are 2 4s are 1 r will get cancel r square R square is equal to S upon 4 pi. Clear or R equal to square root of S upon 4 pi. Okay. Now putting that in F double dash. F double dash square root of S by 4 pi. I will get 1 by 9 S. 2S minus. Putting here 24 pi as it is. And it's r square means s upon 4 1 by 9 s 2 s minus 3 s minus s so minus s square upon 9 okay sorry will be 4 6 r so minus 4 s so minus 4 s square upon 9 less than 0 therefore maximum sorry minimum volume at r equal to square root of s by 4 pi okay or r square equal to s by 4 pi or I can write down s equal to 4 pi r square. So if I put this value of s in equation this one, okay, for surface area, so I will get s equal to pi r square plus pi r l, okay, that implies 4 pi r square equal to pi r square plus pi r l. Pi, pi, and pi gets cancelled. So 4 r square and this r square. So 3 r square equal to r l. Okay, so 1 r will get cancelled. So r by l, that will be 1 by 3. And what is r by l? Sine theta equal to 1 by 3. That implies theta equal to sine inverse 1 by 3. Okay. So hence we prove that the semi-vertical angle is sine inverse 1 by 3. This was about question 26. Just note it down. Now let's move to the next one. Question 27. The point of the curve x square equal to 2y which is nearest to point 0 0.05 is okay. So what is let p e of x y be the point on curve which is nearest to point a 0 0.05. Now we need to find out x and y. Okay, so first distance formula AP under root of x minus 0, that is x square plus y minus 5 whole square. Okay, so AP square will be equal to square root will be removed x square plus y square minus 10y plus 25. From the equation, it is given x square is equal to 2y. So this will be equal to 2y plus y square minus 10y plus 25. So let's take this AP square as our function. 
f of y that is equal to y square plus 2 minus 10 minus 8y plus 25. And to find out its nearest that it must have minimum value. So let's find out f dash y this should be 2y minus 8 and f double dash y that will be equal to 2. As it is greater than 0 therefore ap will be minimum at y such that f dash y is equal to 0. Now f dash y equal to 0 implies 2y minus 8 equal to 0. That implies 2y is equal to 8. That implies y is equal to 4. Okay. So now there is only one option in which the y coordinate is 4. So A is the correct answer. Okay. When you put this value in y, you will get the value of x. Okay. This was MCQ and question number 27. So just note it down. Okay, students, so that's it for today. 20 question 28 and 29 we have already completed in earlier video. So here we have completed exercise 6.5. In our next video lecture, we'll start with the miscellaneous exercise 6. Okay, thank you.